Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick video to answer a couple of questions. This is a PixHawk Cube Orange. This is kind of the default one that most pilots are using. I'm in the middle of setting this up for a project that will be out in the summer. However, this one is a bit funky in that I'm using CAN bus to connect both the GPS and an airspeed sensor. Now, I haven't installed this into the model yet, and luckily I haven't because I've just found that there is an update to Arduplane that will add some extra features that I quite like. Now, updating Arduplilot on any flight controller is a little bit easier than some other things. Now, the reason for that is that the parameter file that actually has all the settings is kind of treated separately in Arduplilot from things like if you might be used to Betaflight or iNav, where when you flash the flight controller, it pretty much blows everything away. Now this has its advantages and disadvantages. So let me answer a question that I had from a Patreon a couple of days ago first. That is that if you have something like this flashed with Arduplane and you want to kind of blow all the configuration settings away, maybe you've gotten a bit of a pickle and you want to kind of start from factory fresh, then there's a number of ways you can do it. There's a kind of a reset button down here by the USB port and there's all kinds of different ways. However, the way that I've done it and done it since APM days, so probably for 10 years or so, is what you do is if you have something like Ardu playing on here, if you flash it with a different flavor of Ardu Pilot, like Ardu Copter, that will delete all of the configuration file settings on the flight controller. And then you can flash Ardu playing back on it and it will be a virgin flight controller with none of the pieces set. However, that isn't what I want to do here. I have spent quite a lot of time configuring the outputs, setting up the GPS and all those pieces that you'll see in the series that comes out in summer. And I just want to update it. So let me show you how I'm gonna do that. This is plugged into the computer. We're connected to Mission Planner. Uh, it's telling me lots of things it's not happy uh, because at the moment the GPS actually isn't plugged in, but that's fine for the update. Now, all of this stuff is covered in the documentation. Surprise, surprise. The ArduPilot docs are incredible. And here it says, updating the firmware to a new version doesn't alter the existing parameters unless the firmware is for a different vehicle, which is kind of what I've just talked about. However, it does say it's a good idea to back everything up before you do it. And I absolutely agree with that. So let's, before we flash this, go into configuration, go into full parameter tree. And in here, in the top right hand corner, we have these two options to load and save from file. So this is how you back up your configuration. So it's like if you are an iNav or a Betaflight pilot where you're doing a diff, well actually a dump of the configuration file, this is kind of the same thing. So let's save this to file first. Let's put it on somewhere like the desktop where I can remember where it is. Let's call it, Now that's going to mean that everything is nice and safe. So what we'll do is we will disconnect from the flight controller and then we'll do the standard stuff. We'll go back into setup, install firmware. We'll pick plane. 421 is the one that I'm after, which is the latest version. We'll say yes. It's detected its cube orange. We say upload firmware. It's going to download it from the internet. And the process it's going to go through is exactly the same as any other update. So here we are, the arrays. Now I would recommend whenever you are doing this, do take the time when the update has finished to check everything. Ardu Pilot, Ardu Copter, all of them seem to be incredibly... Uh, smart at how they handle the configuration settings and the migration from version to version, but it still pays, particularly if it's inside a model, to double check that everything is how you want it. So this is just coming up to the end for the program stuff. There we go. The upload is done. The autopilot will now reboot. And if we connect, we should find that all of the settings and everything are all ready to go. So let me make sure we've got the right serial port connected. Click on connect. And now if we go into setup and then things like 
the servo outputs, if this looks like what I had before, then we are in good a place. And it has, there we have, that's how I had it all. This is actually for a VTOL. So we have the four motors down here. We have the ailerons, actually two ailerons. It's kind of remembered everything. So that is the trick. If you are interested in kind of blowing your cube away, deleting all the parameters, there's a couple of ways to do it. However, the way I do it, it seems to work flawlessly every time is flash it with another version of Ardu Pilot. So if it's Ardu Plane, flash it with Ardu Copter, then come back to Ardu Plane or vice versa. Or if you want to update it to the latest and greatest version of the code, that is how easy it is. It's pretty straightforward. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.